Yo, what is up, my Nakama? So my name is Daniel, and I'm a first year medical student. And in this video, I'm gonna share what I eat in the day. So in the morning, I intermittent fast. If you know from my previous video, uh, my first meal is gonna be around noon, and my last meal last night was around eight. So I do a 16 hour fast with an eight hour feeding window. God, <laughs> feeding window sounds ridiculous every time I say it, but an eight hour window where I can eat food. <laughs> Um, and in the mornings, I generally like to make pour over coffee. Uh, once I discovered pour over coffee, it changed my life because it just tastes so much better than regular coffee, like drip coffee or just using like a Keurig or something. And it's a good cost alternative to Starbucks if you really like coffee, but you don't want to pay, you know, for like a $10 pour over every time you get it. But yeah, so in the mornings, I usually start with water or coffee. Um, I'm trying to limit my coffee intake, so I'm not having coffee like every day, um, but this morning I have a lot of stuff to do, so I just wanted to get the day started with um, a good cup of coffee. So I'm gonna start off this morning with my studying, doing my Anki, and reviewing for my exam tomorrow. Tomorrow we have like a pop epi, which stands for population epidemiology exam. Um, it covers like clinical trials, uh, biostatistics, evaluating like val validity of certain trials and like how to essentially interpret data that we will see as clinicians um, and how to do that properly and with a good eye. But yeah, so that's the exam tomorrow. And then this afternoon I have clinical skills and I really like clinical skills. So basically what clinical skills is, is um, we learn kind of how to be physicians, how to talk to patients, how to perform certain physical exams. Um, and today we're learning about headaches and how to approach patients who have headaches and how to think about like all the possibilities based off of their symptoms. Um, for example, if someone like that's 60 years old has a really acute headache out of nowhere, then that could be a serious problem. If you know, like a 22, 25 year old comes in with recurrent headaches, it might just be uh, a migraine or sort of a benign um, pressure headache, uh, something not as serious as an acute presentation of a headache. So we're gonna learn like how to discern between those and how to approach patients who come to us with headaches. And I believe we're also performing the second half of the neurologic exam. So a few weeks ago, we learned how to perform a neurologic exam of all the cranial nerves, which is super interesting. If you don't know, you have 12 cranial nerves. Each of them kind of do something in your head and throughout your body. Basically, you can test those cranial nerves. And if a test produces a negative result, for example, if I ask you to stick your tongue out, uh, <laughs> and it like deviates to one side, like uh, if it deviates to that side, then it might be a, like a hypoglossal nerve injury, which is the cranial nerve that controls your tongue. But so for this second half of the neurologic exam, it's gonna be about like strength and reflexes and stuff. Um, so basically testing, you know, um, strength and reflex output, see if our patients are hyper reflexive or hypo reflexive and seeing if the strength um, in their extremities is what it should be. But yeah, so that's what I have planned today. Um, and I'm gonna show you kind of what I eat throughout the day and show you kind of how I approach nutrition and calorie counting. So let's get the day started. So it's about noon right now, and this is my first meal of the day. So I eat two meals per day, and I generally eat pretty large meals because since I intermittent fast and only eat two meals a day, um, I need to get like all of my calories in during these two meals. And I like to eat a lot rather than a little bit throughout the day. Um, I feel like I'm more satiated and I'm less hungry if I eat like two really large meals. And they're usually around 1,200 to 1,300 calories each. And every now and then I will eat like a snack in between my first and second meal. Um, but today, because I have clinical skills in the afternoon, um, I won't really have time. So I'm just eating a large meal right now. So on this side, I have um, a salad filled with onions, um, cucumbers, a lot of greens, um, some green onions, and some 
um, orange bell peppers. Um, and I like to eat a salad as much as I can with most of my meals just to get all my nutrients and vitamins in. Um, and it's just super healthy. And most of the time, about 90% of the time, I use olive oil, um, some salt and pepper, and that's all you need for a really good salad. And I really like eating like raw vegetables actually. Um, a lot of the times I won't even season my vegetables. I'll just eat like a whole onion. I actually do that. I eat onions like an apple uh, for the gains. <laughs> and yeah, I'll just eat like whole uh, peppers and cucumbers. Um, I think I just really like it that way. I kind of like the crunch and the taste. Um, and then right here, um, it, I have, usually this is actually what I eat for a snack in between my meals, but I'm just going to eat it now because I'm kind of hungry. Um, so I have some fruit. Uh, I have some berries, some strawberries. Um, underneath here, I have some nuts. I really like to eat almonds. Um, it's a great source of protein and nutrients. Um, and also I have like kind of like a square of cheese right here. Um, I like eating cheese with my nuts and fruit. Uh, it's just a great combo. And then for the main course here is my meal prep. So I generally meal prep on Sundays. And I recommend that if you're trying to approach any diet or like if you're in university, or have a really busy job, meal prepping on Sundays is just the best way to keep track of your diet. Because if you don't have meals ready when you come back home from work and you're super tired, you're more likely to kind of binge and to just get frozen foods and snacks and a lot of unhealthy foods. But by planning out your meals and planning out the portions, um, you can really take control of you know the amount of protein and carbohydrates you're consuming each day, um, which is really important if you're trying to lose weight, which I'm actually trying to do right now. And the way I lose weight is I actually don't count calories. I just weigh myself once a week. And if I notice I'm losing weight, then I know that the amount I'm eating throughout the week is in a caloric deficit. And I think that's the best way of doing it because I mean, I don't like feeling hungry when I'm on a diet. And generally I don't because I eat two lo really large meals throughout the day. But um, I do increase my cardio and I do try and limit the amount of sugars and sweets that I eat uh, when I'm trying to lose weight. But anyways, so for the main meal, I have some salmon. I like to eat fish at least two or three times a week. Um, it's a great source of protein, a great source of omega-3 fatty acids. Um, it's not as lean as like chicken or other types of fish, but I think salmon is just so much packed with nutrients that it's worth consuming at least a few times a week, um, especially like if you're on a Mediterranean diet which I think is one of the best types of diets to do um, in terms of health, muscle gain, or even weight loss. And then on the side here, I have like some salsa that I use with these chips and some broccoli that I prepared earlier. And although my carbohydrate source for this meal isn't like something that I prepared earlier, uh, you know, the chips and salsa is just a way to get my carbs in and it's pretty delicious. These are like the black bean chips from Trader Joe's. Mm, so good. And I also have a little bit of Trader Joe's barbecue sauce on the side to dip my salmon in. So yeah, um, I'm gonna eat this meal now and then I have to get dressed for clinical skills, which is happening in like 45 minutes. Oh my God. Okay, I just got an email saying that there was a severe tornado warning and that our clinical skills class is canceled. Oh man. Oh, I prepared so well for it too. I was ready to do all like the strength and reflex tests. Well, I guess it's always good to be prepared since we're gonna have um, an exam over it at some point, but dang, this is crazy. They're saying that there's like a tornado warning for the hospital and the, the medical staff. All right, let's see what it looks like outside. Dang, it doesn't look that bad. Huh. I mean, it's raining a little bit, but whatever. I'll take the W. So, <laughs> um, I guess I'll just see you guys uh, for dinner. Um, right now, it's about one. Uh, I would have been heading to school for clinical skills, but it looks like that was canceled because of the weather. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to spend um, the rest of the day studying and preparing for my pop epi exam tomorrow. Um, I might do a little bit of sketchy. Uh, so today's lectures, um, if you notice, I didn't go to lecture this morning because I generally don't go to lecture. Well, I'm either staying at home 
or I go to school, but I don't go to the lecture rooms. I just go into one of the study rooms just to change up my study environment. But yeah, so today's lectures covered, I think the pharmacology of the ANS, like the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Um, so I'll definitely use Sketchy to cover those topics. Um, Sketchy Micro, which I covered in another video. It's like a resource I use that um, really helps you memorize and solidify like um, microbiology and pharmacology in medical school. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll do that and then I'll see you guys at dinner. Boop! Because I didn't have clinical skills today, I'm actually eating kind of like my mid-afternoon snack. Um, it's about 3.30 p.m. now, uh, which is usually when I have my snack. Um, and on days when I work out, this snack usually carries me into my workout, which I do around 5 p.m. Um, I don't like to eat too heavy before a workout because I like to feel like I have an empty stomach. Um, because I mostly train calisthenics, by the way, which is a form of bodyweight training. And the moves you do in calisthenics um, often require a lot of like precise body weight movement and doing um, pull-ups and handstands and push-ups. So feeling really full and heavy can kind of make your workout go badly. Because Thursday is my rest day, I still like to do like mobility and flexibility work uh, because I'm really trying to improve my flexibility, um, especially for a lot of calisthenic skills like handstand pike presses and stuff. You really need good hamstring and core flexibility, so I'm really working on those. Um, and I'll show you that um, a little bit later when I um, do that. I'm probably gonna do that around six because um, I like to eat around, I like to eat between seven and 8 p.m. Uh, for my last meal of the day. Um, but what I have here is I made a little like espresso latte with some oat milk uh, and I kind of like uh, foamed and steamed it up in this Arrochino, I think it's called. Um, it's with my Nespresso machine. And it turns out really good. Uh, I, I really enjoy having this um, type of espresso uh, when I'm feeling a little bit tired and just need a little afternoon pick-me-up. And then uh, for my snack, um, I have one rice cake, which is pretty minimal in calories. It's like 40 calories per rice cake. And I really like nutty spreads. So uh, on one of these rice cakes, I have a pistachio spread, as you saw. Um, and that is just delicious. Um, my fiance, she got me the pistachio spread and I just love it so much. It's like the best thing on this earth. <laughs> and then uh, the other thing I have is this like protein spread type butter nut thing. <laughs> and um, it, I think it was like maple pretzel flavor. And that is just delicious. And there is a little bit of sugar in it, but as you can see, I don't add that much. So, you know, it's like a, it's like a little snack, especially when I'm trying to like stay away from desserts and like chocolates. This is kind of like my little sweet in order to, you know, carry me over, in order to tide me over really. But yeah, this is like my little snack in the afternoon. And I'll see you next when I do my mobility and stretch routine. And then afterwards, I'll show you what I usually eat for dinner. Um, and it's something I actually learned in a class. So, time to eat. So I got my dinner here, I just finished my mobility and flexibility routine, and I generally eat between 7 and 8 p.m. Right now it's actually exactly 7.30, and then I will fast until 12 p.m. the next day. And for dinner today, we have um, some chicken, and this is a whole baked chicken that I made, and it generally lasts me about three to four days when I make a whole baked chicken, and it's super good. Um, the skin and the meat, it's really tender, and I actually learned uh, the proper way to make it in a course I'm taking called Doctors in the Kitchen. It's like a six class course uh, with a physician who is a really good cook and also does a lot of work with children and obesity and nutrition. Um, and he's kind of teaching us like the proper ways to cook and how to make things really flavorful and healthy. 
Um, so we kind of learned a little bit of details about how to make a baked chicken really good um, and how to season it properly and stuff like that. So I have my chicken here. So this isn't rice right here. This is like red lentils and chickpea that looks like rice. Um, it's a little less carbohydrates and a little more protein. So it's kind of a good substitute for rice if you're trying to lose weight and you're on a diet. And then I got some greens here. These are just some frozen greens from Trader Joe's. I try and prepare as many vegetables as I can like in the oven or eat them raw, but every now and then I just like to get a bag of frozen vegetables and heat it up along with my meal if I don't have like a set of veggies prepared. I don't know exactly how many calories this meal is or even how much protein is in it, but I have actually never counted that. Um, I just kind of, as I mentioned earlier, I track my progress through my weight so if I'm trying to lose weight and I see that the scale is going down, then I know that I'm in a caloric deficit. And if I'm like really trying to lose weight, I'll weigh myself every single morning and I'll adjust my diet based off if I see the scale going up or down. But yeah, that's pretty much what I eat in a day. Um, I try to you know, get a balanced diet with enough protein. Um, I try to eat enough carbohydrates, but Sometimes I, if I'm dieting like I am now, I try and limit my carbohydrates. And of course I try and eat a ton of fruits and vegetables um, and nuts and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I eat in a day of medical school. Um, every week I try and vary it up. And I try and limit my red meat consumption, by the way. And actually overall, I'm just trying to eat meat once per day rather than for every single meal. So I'm trying to have lunch become more of a vegetarian meal and use more plant-based proteins like beans and tofu and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions about nutrition, calisthenics, exercise, working out, or anything medical school related, just leave a comment below. And you know, as always, Dr. Bayou.